good morning you guys welcome back to another vlog oh my gosh i feel like i haven't really talked to you guys in a very very long time so today is saturday october 1st it's about 10 30 baby we're about to get to it okay it's the fourth quarter i really feel like i've been all over the place from new york fashion week to dr and then also cancun i'm not sure when i'm going to like upload this vlog it's probably going to be like after uh cancun but i don't know just yet but anyway so yeah we've been really traveling like we've been all over the place i've been like also working back to back to back like i've had so many like sponsorships going on i need to get my life together traveling over the past like mm, i would say month now like my place has gotten out of hand like i feel like i've kept it pretty like you know decent or whatever but it's definitely gotten out of hand so anyway i just wanted to come on to the vlog and just say hello we're about to make us some coffee um on the go because today like i said it's october 1st so we're about to do some planning oh my god i had recorded this whole video of like a day in the life of an influencer and i never uploaded it. i still have the footage i'm gonna go through it because i may upload it um since i still have the footage yeah we're about to make some coffee so let's head over to the little coffee station it's october 1st so we gotta get to it like i have to come hard so yeah we're coming hard like i'm going i'm coming back with taking pictures on instagram you guys have to make sure that you're like following me or engaging with me on instagram because um a lot of people be like oh like i haven't seen you or where have you been instagram has been shadow banning me but well, these are two lids but yeah they've been shadow banning me so like of course you're not going to see me because um they're shadow banning me so you're gonna have to physically type in my name to like see some of the posts that i have um up there so in my newer posts but yeah like goal is to upload you know more consistently on instagram every week um consistently on tiktok consistently on youtube like the fourth quarter gotta get it okay and if the fourth quarter get ad heavy okay like if it gets sponsorship heavy y'all better support i don't want to hear nothing okay and supporting can look like so many different things like i just recently had a nike post your girl got that post with not i said who nike want to work with me okay let me tap into that okay let me tap into that i just love sports work anyway so if you see me out in the street nine times out of ten your girl gonna have something one like that like with sneakers and stuff like that but anyway like i was just like hey you know sponsor posts coming up please show support because it really helps out a lot you don't even have to buy anything i mean buying is you know extra like it's, it's a plus like girl thank you thank you so much but you don't even have to buy anything but just showing support by even commenting or even liking like helps so freaking much like that's all it's free like you don't have to do much like a simple like or just a simple comment like oh my god like that just helps so much so even whenever i have like sponsorships like even clicking on the clicking on the links girl like that helps too like even if you ain't buying nothing but clicking on the link shows like hey i'm interested or whatever and that helps like it really truly helps so yeah like um just just show your support girl by just watching commenting liking it just helps me so much so just all the creators in general so anyway let's make this coffee good morning you guys i don't know when the last time i talked to you but i think it was on friday i believe so today it is Monday, October 3rd. I leave for Cancun this week for my best friend's wedding. She is having a destination wedding, so I'm super excited about that. Um, Y'all, I got this cute little short set on from Luna. It's a sleepwear. Now they're not cheap, but they definitely gifted me this. And oh my God, I'm in love. Got some coffee here, so. Just about to get my day started. It's a Monday. <laughs> I do have work to do. Usually I don't like to work on a Monday. Only reason why I don't like to work on a Monday, like I'm gonna have to change my like schedule and perception. But the only reason why, hold on, is because I had to do it for so long where I was just like, you know, when I work for myself, I'm not going to work on a Monday. I'm gonna have a three day weekend. I said a four day weekend. I was like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Girl, I never liked working on a Monday. That's why I don't work on a Monday. But either way it goes, 
I have work to do before I go out of town. Making things right now. And I have a video that is due today, so. Earlier today was super like, well not earlier today, probably like 30 minutes ago, honestly. It was super cloudy and I was like, yeah, I wanna go back to bed. <laughs> but yeah, just finished walking Zane, got some coffee. I'm gonna make my bed and stuff. I have so much, oh yes, y'all, I finally assembled my new bed. I probably had the bed for about two weeks now. I finally assembled it and I'm gonna show you like what it looks like because it's so freaking cute. I think so. I have some more stuff that I want to do. Like I'm slowly but surely like trans, uh, transforming my like apartment into a place that I want it to be. I'm overspending money. I'm not going to lie on furniture that, you know what I mean, I may not like. That's the battle that I'm having with myself. It's just like I spend money on things or items in my home and I hate it. <laughs> so, girl. But anyway, so today is a work day. I have some things that I want to get done. I also need to do laundry. I started last night or yesterday and I need to finish that today. Hopefully I can pop on some YouTube videos because since I've been like gone, I've been missing a lot of my girls uploads and I see they've been doing what they need to do. So I'm like, okay, when I, cause I hate doing laundry, but I'm like, okay, I can definitely do laundry while watching the girls. So that's what I'm hoping to do today after like work. You can eat Zane. I'm gonna take out my braids. I feel like on Wednesday, I don't know if it's too dark in here, but I'm gonna take the braids out on Wednesday, wash my hair. Hopefully, I think I have a wig that's coming today. I seen it on TikTok. It is from like, I think Ally Pearl or something. I'll show you guys that when it gets here um, that I like. It's a five by five closure. Apparently, they just don't make closure wigs anymore. Like. I don't like a five by five because it's still showing, I mean, at least it's not a frontal, but it's probably showing like what, this much of the head? I don't like that, okay? But I just gotta do something. I have a few packages that's coming today that I'm so excited about. So yeah. Yeah, girl, let me show you the bedroom. Ah. I figured out what happened. I put oil and stuff in my hair because it was itching and it like stained the pillows which is so annoying because i literally i literally just watched these last night well yesterday and put them on last night i know a lot of people don't like these pillows but i do they're so cute <laughs> like people say they give them grandma vibes but i like them okay Y'all, I should have took this bag. I was trying to make this work. It's just awkward, like. This is what the room is looking like so far. You know, honestly, the little touch of brown is not bad. Y'all, I really don't be trying to show Zane off even though he's so freaking cute. He literally just be in my space. Like, I just showed my new office chair. I don't think I showed you guys yet, so I'm gonna show you guys. I showed my new office chair and Zane literally jumped up there and I was just like, you know, might as well take a picture because he was looking so freaking cute. But he literally be everywhere I go, so yeah. So this is how the bed looks. I think it's so cute. Um, and I just got those little plants, faux plants, whatever you want to call them. Um, I got that from Target. The lamps are from Target. Um, the nightstands are from Value City Furniture. The bench that Zane is on is a crate and barrel or CB2 bench. Um, and yeah, like I said, everything will be linked below if you are interested, but I try to give it a little bit of fall touch. So what I'm going to do is I think that I'm going to add some pictures, not pictures. I'm going to add some mirrors like above it and I don't know which kind yet. But yeah. I want the rectangle, uh, mirrors. So yeah, I'm gonna get the bed together soon. Like as far as like the comforter, the pillows and stuff like that. I'm gonna copy somebody's and see, that's just not my area. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> you girls be doing it, but I can't. I just picture like some mirrors right there. I think that'd be so cute. Ugh. But anyway, let me show you the bed, girl. Which way you wanna go? Let me see, I guess this way. You see this? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. 
Oh my God, so gorgeous. Like, <sighs> just looks so good. Literally looks so good. And it's a upholstered bed that I got from Wayfair. So, I didn't know my box spring. Cause usually I have a bed skirt on cause I've never had a uh, upholstered bed before. So yeah, I never had this before. So yeah, the box spring is showing. So I have to get a cover for the box spring so it can just look seamless because this is not fitting. Like it's not fitting, but either way it goes, girl. The bed is super cute. Like how gorgeous. Look at the color. It's very much nice. And it even like kind of matches the lamp. So yeah. So this is what I have going on. The vases are from Target from like last year or something. But yeah. But so cute. So gorgeous. I like this. Oh. Now I'm in my office. I am going to be getting this area together. I don't want to show you too much. I still have a few things to do. Sorry if you hear noise as construction. But I still have a few things to do um, in here. Um, and I'll tell you or show you guys that later because I do plan to give a tour. I promise you I plan to give you a tour of the office. I just want to have things like together um, and to my liking or whatever. So anyway, girl, okay, so here's the new chair that I got. Um, it is from CB2, I believe, and then I put the pillows on here from my couch, um, and those are from Pottery Barn. I just absolutely love it. I mean, of course, I can, you know, you could do a few different things with this. I have some more stuff that I want to do to this area. Like, I want to add, like, some pictures here, a lamp here, um, just a very, you know, super cute, quaint uh, lamp I seen on Amazon so I'll probably do that but absolutely love this area and like I said there's gonna be like a gallery picture wall right here and then I got these eucalyptus stems uh, on this stump here I think they're so freaking cute but I got these uh, the stump here from I got it on sale from Target like three months ago or something and I'm like yeah I want it in my office like no matter what I'm gonna make something work and it works right here so yeah this is a new chair for the office um, I'm not gonna give too much but if you notice this chair here matches this chair so yeah girl I'm about to do my skin routine so I can get started with my work because I'm pushing it. I literally have a video due today. And I honestly need to charge my phone. I've literally been like procrastinating like this whole month. I mean this whole day. Like guess how guess what time it is? It's 12 o'clock. I've been up since like 8:30. It should not have taken me this long to do a video. I'm just not feeling it today, though. Like. Hey y'all. Mmm. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm so hungry, so I'm eating a cookie. But, um, I finished the content that was due. I edited it, sent it over to the brand. Hopefully everything is in good standing. I just walked in. I'm about to do some more content. I got a package. I think it's my hair. So I'm gonna show you what it is. This is my first time ordering from Ali Pearl, I believe. This is what it looks like. But I see some of the girls talking about this on TikTok. So I was like, okay, let me try it. Now for me, I am a beginner person. Okay, like super beginner. Like beginner, 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 beginner. Like I don't like to do a lot of work or whatever. So this is something that I need. I don't know what HD is. Like I don't know if I should have got transparent or HD. Because it's not. You see this? I mean, maybe it's given. We just gonna throw some makeup on it. I'm not doing that, that bleaching the knots and stuff. I'm not doing that. But other than that, this is how it looks. Gorgeous, it's a gorgeous wig. But I wish that I could keep this like wave, but obviously I have to wash it, but it seems very good. So I'm about to go finish up some work and then I'll come back to y'all. Probably when I'm making dinner, y'all. You're making HelloFresh. It's so good. Hey y'all, so 
Zane. He's about to go to my parents' house. I put on this wig. I literally did absolutely nothing to it. Um, first of all, the hair is absolutely gorgeous. Very thick, full, super soft. But it's really gorgeous. I didn't really do much to it. Um, it is giving very much like glueless. However, it looks very wiggy. Um, so <laughs> that's why I have this hat on because I literally just braided my hair up, cut the lace, um, and kind of like added just some light little curls to it. Um, but I literally haven't like plucked. I didn't bleach the knots or anything, which I'm not going to bleach the knots, but I am going to put like powder on it. Um, and I need to pluck. So, yes, that's what I'm going to be doing today. When I get back, I am pretty much packed. Oops. So, yeah, pretty much packed. Um, these little things here are like my, they're just uh, acne patches. But I'm just about to put on my shoes. Yes, I'm wearing sweatpants. And I'm gonna throw these boots with them. This hat is misguided. Top is skim sweatpants. I think this is Boohoo boots. Um, Ego and then Marc Jacobs bag. So yeah, probably gonna put this claw clip in. Cause this is like a lot of hair. And um, Today is just really like chill. So yeah, I'm about to head out. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby. I took the half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Baby. You took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you calls, you can't even pay me enough to react. You waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga songs in this party, I can't even listen to that. Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a victory lap, yeah. baby. I'm looking really crazy right now. We just arrived at the hotel, got checked in. It was such a long, long process. Like from getting off of the airplane to trying to get the bags to shuttle to get to the hotel and then also checking in. It was just a long process, but you guys know I always like to show you a room tour. So that's what we're going to do. And then, you know, the first day be really, really chill. So I'm probably going to like try, you know, wipe down, Lysol, everything. And I'm going to try and get like a, um, sorry, you can't see me. I'm gonna try and um what is it oh and get some food and stuff like that but it's very very chill so I never really record the first day but we'll see we'll see what it's given I'll put the name of the hotel um, on the screen so this is the front door you do have a private little bathroom here and then it's like an open layout so let me show you this is the bathroom there's a stand-up shower double sinks a little jacuzzi tub like right there um in the middle then you have full length mirrors here which we love okay for an outfit check so love this is my airport outfit it's from naked wardrobe new balance for the sneakers here and yeah oh my god this bump is horrible in the wig <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, that also this has like a little bit of like a privacy. So if we want to, we can just, you know, close that, which is kind of like the same. Here's the bed, king size, uh, king size bed, two nightstands, floating nightstands. We have a little seating area. I got a mojito. Good. This is good. Like this is the best mojito i've ever had it's a strawberry mojito and then on the outside i'm not going outside just yet simply because like he said if we go outside then um the air conditioning will cut off and it's it's hot to me very very hot so anyway we have a jacuzzi here two chairs and then there is the uh pool but then all the way back there which you may 
not be able to see because i'll have to go outside there's like an ocean view so yeah i'm excited because it said that they have like authentic mexican food and that's something that i'm like just so here for they got hibachi they got like so much stuff so i'm excited it's all inclusive so yes so yeah i'm about to um wind down really quick and then if i do something else and i'll pick up the camera so yeah girl it's been so many days later like a lot of days later actually um so let me explain myself really quick right now I'm currently doing my hair I'm just putting some little crimps or whatever um in them just to kind of refresh my hair because I have a lot of things that I need to tell you guys number one <laughs> When I went on the Cancun trip, y'all, like, like, honestly, because I've been traveling so much, so frequently, like, I was just over, like, vlogging. I'm not going to lie. Like, the Cancun vlog, it was a fail. Like, I just could not do it. Like, I was living in a moment. I was just really just living in a moment, honestly. That's what it was. Like, nothing else to it. I mean, we had a great time in Cancun. I did. My best friend got married. We got her down the aisle. That's all that matters to me. So I thought that it was just such a great time and everything went so well. It said that it was supposed to rain, but it, it probably like drizzled like maybe one or two times. I don't know. So everything was a success to me and I hope that she really enjoyed everything. So that's that. But your girl lost her Beats headphones, over the head headphones. Um, my guess is like, so the last time I had them was whenever I was on the plane. 
and I remember like, you know, my going to Cancun. I remember, you know, packing them up and things like that, but I don't know where they are anymore. Um, you know, beats, they're not like AirPods where, you know, if they fall, you can't hear them or you can't see them or whatever. They're like beats, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I really think somebody like stole them. And when I say somebody, I think it's one, like the staffs. I don't want to say that, but I'm just being honest. I think one of the staffs, you know, the housekeeping or someone like probably took them because like, where would they go? Where, where were they? Now I will say that like when I was leaving the hotel, like I like to try and pack up all of my stuff anytime that I'm leaving, like my laptop, um, whatever it is. Like I like to try and pack things up, right? Um, anything that's considered valuable or even expensive, like to me, I like to pack it up before I leave, put it in my suitcase and lock my suitcase. Um, however, I don't recall, don't remember me even packing those beats at all. Like I remember, I think I just left them out because I was just like, oh, you know, what else? But I do remember packing up my laptop, my iPad, like, you know, those valuable things like my camera. I remember packing those things up, you know, anytime I left out the, uh, the room, never the beats, any way the beats are lost. It is what it is, so that's that. Uh, your girl is going to Atlanta tomorrow because she's been invited to an Amazon event. So this will be my first ever Amazon event. Well, this will be my first ever event that I've been invited to. So I'm so happy about that. Like, seriously, um, everything is covered. I was like, okay. So they fly your girl out um, tomorrow. And we are going to be, um, I think it's for like black creators. I can't remember exactly everything that they stated, um, but you will be able to see it here on the blog, of course. But yeah, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to the event tomorrow. Um, well, I'm going to, the, the event is on Tuesday. I'm flying out tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully after, like I told the Lord to make me busy and he said, oh, I got you. Watch this. Okay. Cause I've been back to back to back to back and I'm not complaining, but yeah, that's that. This is how this look. I think it's cute from the back, not from the front. <laughs> Okay, hello everybody. So I just made it to Atlanta. Sorry, I didn't do much recording or anything. <sighs> you know how it be when you're trying to get to the airport and everything. So yeah, let me just show you the room. Um, I think I'm selling, staying at the Bell Yard um, Hotel. It is a cute um, boutique hotel. It's super, super cute. I'm just gonna do a room tour like I always do. Um, I'm on the second floor. I wish I was a little bit higher, but it's fine. Um, so here is the front door. We have a full length mirror, which I absolutely love. I don't turn the lights on. I'm gonna go ahead to the bathroom. Love the bathroom. Uh, absolutely in love with the bathroom and the shower head. So love that own private toilet. And then I'm just so here for this. this is gorgeous love 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 this so that's that and then I did get two double beds um, I love the wall I don't know if this is wallpaper or not mm. <laughs> but I just love this accent wall I just think it is so nice uh, it looks like I got a little bit of Sun coming in and I just love this. Like, I absolutely love everything about this. It's super cute. Got a little sitting area right here. And then this is also another little area. Um, you could just, like, sit, do work, look out the window. You get the view. I don't know if you can see. Oh, that is beautiful. Of Atlanta. And also, there's shades here if I want to bring that down a little bit more and this looks like is closet area which is very nice girl I'm about to put this robe on <laughs> so yeah this is very nice so I'm about to hang up my clothes in this closet area um, but I could just sit here do work oh these come out as well so you have like so much 
I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Is this like, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a refrigerator, but I have so much space. Um, and then Amazon gave me a few little goodies here. We creators table and uh, I'm so excited. Um. I only brought a carry on, so I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> with this and the rest of the stuff. And I was able to check in early, okay? Like, I love that for me. So I just literally unpack everything. All right, and I'm just hanging, look, I'm gonna hang up just these two. Okay, I only brought two pairs of shoes. I'm literally gonna be in here all day and I'm gonna be doing like work. I'm about to change into my loungewear that I bought. This is from Target. I'm weak, I wasn't even recording, but let me do this really, really quick. Um, I literally got my loungewear on, tripod right there, just in case I need to record anything, don't mind the week. We're gonna fix that later. Bag. Clothes hunk up. Accessory shoes, bag right there. Shower shoes. <laughs> Poetry bag, makeup, curling iron, and shower cap, yes. Your girl is prepared, okay? I'm prepared to lay in the bed for a little while. I'm just gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna get up and do some work. Um, I'm gonna find something to watch here on TV. And then I'm hoping that I can um, order room service. But anyway, so I'm gonna catch y'all a little bit later after like my nap. I may just sit right here. That looks like a spot. My only thing is I don't have Lysol. Don't judge me. I, it was a lot. It was a lot. So I'm gonna pray to the Lord that he just blessed me because I don't have Lysol. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Hello, everybody. So today is Tuesday, October 18th. Um, it's 3.13. Uh, PM I actually I'm actually about to get into the shower. I'm, I've literally been like lazy all day like super lazy super tired All day, so I'm about to get in the shower and um, Get ready for the event tonight um, I just want to get you know some content for you guys. I'm super excited a little bit nervous Not really but kind of like I feel like a lot of the events prior to this one has kind of prepared me for um for this one i'm trying to figure out how far it is baby it's only five minutes away okay i was trying to give myself 30 minutes but i still need to give myself 30 minutes because i know y'all was like girl like why are you getting dressed or why are you trying to get ready now it's 3 15. the event is at six right yeah the event is at six it's from six to nine um anyway all right, so I'm about to jump in the shower and then I'm gonna do my skin routine and all that. And then whenever I finish with like my makeup and stuff, or excuse me, when I'm about to do my makeup, then I'll come back on camera. Sorry y'all, this is the angle that I can work with right now because um, I don't have anything else and I don't have like my bigger tripod, but why? I just got out the shower, did my skin routine. I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling good. Um, and y'all look at the, you know I had to put a little glow, okay, a little glow on, but I bought this, which is, oh my God, what is this? I can't remember what this is, but y'all, I done talked about this, like, when, if you want like a little nice glow, but it's not, but it's not oily, and it doesn't transfer on your clothes, I'm gonna put you back on whenever, whenever I get back to the house, okay? I can't remember the brand. It's slipping my mind for some reason. But like all the girls went on this. This literally, I, it's lasted a very, very long time. I've been taking this on all the trips. And like I said, I just put this on when I want like a nice, you, girl, when I want a nice little glow. Yeah, it does it. It really does it. But, um, 
like I said, it's not gonna transfer on your clothes and we love that. We do. I'm looking real crazy right now. We're gonna do my makeup. Summer Walker hits every single time. Like every single time. I try to listen to me a little LMA. She wasn't giving it. Walker did that, okay? I need you to know. You don't know what love is. You don't know what love is. I don't know the rest of the song. I really forgot to put primer on. Sorry, y'all. I'm glad that I brought two outfits because I forgot my under my bodysuit to go with this. I'm so annoyed. <sighs> oh, I'm so annoyed. So this is how it looks. I actually didn't want this clothes. I wanted my bodysuit to go underneath this. I'm annoyed, y'all, because I really wanted to wear this suit, like this set. Okay, so here's the outfit. I have the option to wear this strappy heel or this closed toe heel. Let me get it together really, really quick. All right, y'all, so I don't know why it's so bright. Anyway, so let me show you my outfit really quick and then I have to go because it's 540 and I want to call my Uber and I want to be there, you know, at a reasonable time. So, I just have, this was not what I was going to wear, but it is what it is. Uh, this, the top as well as the faux leather pants are from Naked Fashion. The shoes are from Public Desire. Brandon Blackwood bag and yeah that's that same jury as always Zara JBW um Aldo you know you know the vibes so that's it let me go
program is a place where content creators can build successful and rewarding businesses promoting Amazon products and services that they love. If you're new to the program, welcome. Woo! We host events like these to give you all a chance to network and build community, to educate you about our program, inspire you with product, and thank you for your partnership. This event in particular is a chance for us to celebrate and lift up our black creator community. And to that end, we've designed an evening of gifting and education to help you all in your journey as creative entrepreneurs. So really with that, I just wanna say welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm gonna introduce Madube Congleton. She's the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Director for Amazon Worldwide Stores, and she's gonna talk to you about Amazon's DEI efforts and give share a toast. So welcome. Hi everyone. Thank you. Look, you know, I had to make sure I came with it on the fit since I don't want y'all to post me and I didn't nail it. Did I nail it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming I'll get a glass in a second. Okay. Hi everybody. Hello. You all, you look so beautiful. I'm, I mean, I feel like I haven't been out. My name is Madupe Congleton. I'm the Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for Worldwide Amazon Stores. And so that might sound like a lot, but let me just flex a little bit more. <laughs> okay. So when you think about fashion, luxury stores, beauty, Amazon.com, books, Kindle, our global customer, fulfillment centers, everything that you touch and feel, about 85% of Amazon, my team leads diversity, equity, and inclusion. So <laughs> I am that individual that I'm in the room and I get a chance to tell your stories, to tell the stories of your aunties, your uncles, your cousins, right? And why we matter and why it's so important for everything that we do that we get an equal opportunity but we also have a deep conversation around equity. Equity in our communities, equities, equity all over the world. And so I don't want you all to think that we stop just in the US, we're a global company. And we not only thank you for bringing your genius to Amazon, for representing the best of our communities, for representing the best of who you are. So a toast to you all for being so fabulous. Have a good night. Yeah. I want you to 